Welcome. Let's do another Touch POS demo. This is a different POS system. Um, let's go ahead and log in to the standalone machines. We've got one here, one over there. We've got our iPod again and two Touch iPod touches. Um, we'll go ahead and do a couple orders on the standalones and show the network setup. Let's see, we'll log in here as a manager. And log in. Go ahead and log in over here as a server. Let's see, server. And log in. Let's see, as a manager, we'll go ahead and do a new order. We'll say this is table number one. Okay, we've got how many people at this table? Two people at this table. Okay. Um, they want some beverages. Let's see, they want some RC products. One guy wants a Snapple. Um, let's say that they need some an appetizer. Let's say um, the worst cheese fondue. And we'll finish that. While that's printing, let's go ahead and take a look at our server. Our server has a new table. We'll say that's table number two. And, uh, whoops, new and table number two, and OK. And she's got three guests, and OK. And they're going to want, let's see, a Snapple, and a tea, and a bottled water. And they're going to go ahead and order some food. Um, smoke worst. Uh, say they want a hot dog. And other than worst, they want a bacon cheeseburger basket with no pickles. And we've got uh, somebody that wants a schnitzel basket and no tomato. And that should be good. And finish. Let's see, this guy's order. Well, that's good enough for now, so we'll go ahead and log him out. Let's see. Um, let's go here. Better turn this stuff back on. And now well, there's one of our receipts. Our printer's not set up quite right on this one, but um, we'll get that dialed in. Let's see. Okay, now our handheld devices. Let's go ahead and log in here as our manager. Um, well, one, two, four. And his password the same. And log in. Catch that. Wrong password. Clear. One, two, four. Log in. Okay, so as the manager, it's showing mine, it's showing the servers. We can obviously go in here and do stuff with it. Let's go ahead and work with my order as the manager. We're going to go ahead and edit that order. And they're ready for an entree. Let's say they get um, some smoke worst, Oktoberfest, sandwich, and an entree for our other guy, and he wants other than worst, chicken style tenders. Looks like that might be good. And finish them out. And it comes up with this little print thing. And that order is being sent. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Let's log in. This one's a little more legible. Um, we'll go ahead and log in as a server on this one. Okay, a little harder to see, but of course you can stretch things out, move it around. 
Um, we don't need to stretch it out that much. Let's go ahead and the server here, she can do a new order. And she's got table 3 and OK. And she's got two guests at that table and OK. And she's ready to take their order. We got some beverages. Beverage. And we've got um, an RC product. And let's say they both want RC products. So there's two of those. Two RC products. Let's go back over to our entrees. They're going to go ahead and just order. See some fresh worst. And they can have bratwurst and sandwich. And our next one is going to want um, some smoked worst. And they want the hot dog. Go over here and review our order. It's looking good. Let's go ahead and finish and send that order. Let's say our test guy, our manager, um, and you'll see that the server's order is coming up in the manager screen here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna let's go ahead and zoom in on this now. Take a closer look. A little focus. So, of course, we can zoom in with this system too on the iPad. We need a better look at things. Fun, fun. Now we're just back to normal. Um, we need, let's see, the test manager's order, and he's ready to settle that order, and we're going to do a cash transaction, and we're just going to say the next amount up, and it's processing and printing and close. Close our print screen, and we can go over here. Let's go ahead and log out. And then we'll log in as our server. And we've got, let's see, server info, and log in, and it's showing her two orders, and she's ready to sell both of them, cash transaction, and we'll say this guy has exact change, and close that, close the print window, and the next one, and settle. And we'll just do another cash transaction. Of course, all this other stuff works. And um, next amount. And close. And close the print window. And she's settled out. Um, we're still working on our printer interfaces, getting them nice and um, quick. I think we need to change some baud rates and stuff, but we are printing remotely. We are sending our orders. We are getting our receipts and all done off these uh, handheld devices. iPod or iPad. Let's see. Let's zoom back out. Okay. We can go ahead and uh, log out of this one. Um, we can log into the third one here just to make sure that we know that it's working. Let's say this one's the manager, probably doesn't have anything, because I think we took care of all that. And maybe you want to have little teeny fingers. We need to adjust some screen sizes on this. Um, but nothing that's a major big deal. So we're logged on there as a manager. He's got back office utilities he can use. Let's see. Let's make this readable. Log out. Whatever. And that should do it for that.